Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to another episode of reviewing ballpoint pens in my collection. This time I have for you a mysterious and quite, quite unique piece. Well, uh, they call this trench art and the definition of the trench art uh, term you use uh, different uh, military supplies like um, depleted bullets or uh, other um, militaria and you make out of them lamps, knives and in this case a wonderful wonderful ballpoint pen and if we look closely at it, let's give it a zoom it is comprised of two bullets and we have one here and one stuck in the back of the other. Of course, they are empty of the explosive powder in them. And they end with this metallic part, which seems like the ending of the bullet, but I don't think it is the ending of the bullet. And here, another part made by them or uh, used it certainly is from the same material the same metallic shape that uh, makes the body of the bullet and it has even a clip of course not a functional clip so if you manage to put it on your shirt it is a good thing Well, um, I don't know how old it is. Maybe the bullets are from the 1940s, from the Second World War. I don't know for sure. I bought this ballpoint pen in Italy. And uh, maybe you have the same passion. When I visit a foreign country, I always return home with a ballpoint pen or a fountain pen mostly or most of the time with a fountain pen because i love fountain pens but uh, when i saw this ballpoint pen i thought it was unique and i bought it and uh, i didn't negotiate the price i should negotiate the price but uh, i paid full 20 euros the asking price because i was so excited you know that i don't know how to operate the ballpoint pens i believe yes this opens through here you can open it and this is the simple mine you can buy a mine from your local stationery and if it's too long you can cut it with the scissors let's put this here i want to see the caliber or the we have an ST and a 13. I'm not sure what ST and 13 stands for. It's quite a large caliber. <laughs> I'm not um, familiar. Maybe I should measure the diameter of the bullets to determine its caliber. I don't know. I've never been in the army, so I don't know. Okay, I will put back this wonderful, wonderful, interesting writing instrument. It surely is a conversation piece. If you pull this out to sign a document, everybody will uh, look at you and uh, will ask you where did you uh, acquire this unique piece. This is my short story. Of course, I don't know much about those uh, types of ballpoint pens. I've seen them on the internet, so I don't think they are uh, so rare. But they are uh, part of the trench art scene. And I'm quite uh, proud to have one piece in my collection. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this review of this unique and uh, wonderful uh, writing instrument. I uh, won't do a writing sample because it writes like a ballpoint pen. As a matter of uh, dimensions, I will leave the dimensions on the screen, but also 
um, I have a fountain pen, a famous fountain pen, the Lamy 2000, and you can make yourself an idea about its uh, dimensions. And of course, being made out of metal, it's not so heavy. I will leave also the weight on the screen, but um, it is quite, quite practical. It's a little bit short, but it certainly does its job. So thank you guys for your time again. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please subscribe to my uh, channel to support my activity. I wish you to have a nice day. See you again until the next episode. And bye-bye.